All right, so today the plan is very simple. We're gonna play Super Auto Pets until we get a 10 piece. And I'll do my best to explain the game to you as we go along. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. And let's go ahead and get this 10 piece. Okay, so the basic premise is once you start that you have five lives, every time you lose a round, you lose a life, and you're trying to get to 10 wins before you lose five lives. So you get 10 cold per shop, and then you go into the battle, and then the way that you go into the battle is with these pets. Usually each of the pets or each of the, um, each of the uh, fruit end up costing you three gold. So you're basically looking at trying to build a team and over time stack up your team, stack up your um, abilities and um, improve your team. The one other element is you can see at the bottom here where it says roll list die with the one. There are six different tiers and then each pet has, uh, I'll actually bring oops, one pet in. And you can see it's level one. So there are three different levels for each pet and then there are six different tiers of pets. Each tier of pets is gonna get stronger and stronger. And you'll see that as the game goes along. But for right now, we're just going to keep it simple. Um, we're going to bring the ant. The ant, if it faints in battle, will give a temporary one turn, two attack, one health buff to a random friend. The otter, when you buy it, will give a permanent one plus one attack, plus one health to uh, a random pet, uh, friend as well. So if there's only one, then it goes to that other one. Uh, we've got four gold left for this turn, so we're just going to go ahead and we'll go for the otter level early and there we go we got the ant buffed and then we're going to go ahead and end turn uh we're going to name the team this happens at the beginning of each round let's see i think that we are going to be the overexcited bulls you know there's a couple different ways that you can look at that maybe you're holding up a little bit of a red flag or maybe you're busy in the stock market and trading but either way you know there are definitely lots of overexcited bulls in the world <laughs> Uh, so, you know, we go ahead through this battle, and uh, we win the first round. So what we're doing right now is the Super Auto Pets weekly. So every week they'll uh, change up the pack and change up what pets are in the pack. And so this week, um, it's, you know, the early game is pretty standard, but I would say the mid game is is... There's not a lot of action in the mid game this week. Most of the action and most of the the pets that you actually really need only come out in the late game. Some weeks you can actually take some of the early game pets pretty far. But I've found that this week, unless maybe the jellyfish, but there's not as many that you're gonna wanna take far um, into the game. So let's see, we'll bring you in here because yeah, we'll bring you right there. The pill bug, every time the tier upgrades, which is every two turns until it caps out at tier six, will give the two pets behind it plus one and plus one. So, or plus one health. So we'll put that there to buff the ant and the otter. All right, take those, take those. Probably gonna win this one, I would say. Win it pretty clearly. Okay. All right, so that's great. We haven't really had many levels happen yet, but we already got the uh, jellyfish, which is great. Because the jellyfish, basically every time a different pet levels up, then it gets a plus one attack, plus one health. So it's a great early game. And then there we go. We got our level, so the jellyfish gets buffed. And then right over here, the clownfish is actually a great complimentary one for that because every time something levels up, it will give it plus two health, plus two attack. So we're doing pretty good for the early. We're going to freeze the croissant, which is a plus one attack. And then we're going to go to the next battle. And if you see me glancing away, I've just got a second screen to make sure that the video quality is pretty good patience with that we go ahead we take the win i would say this weekly especially it's really important to have the early wins because of how much it slows down in the mid game so getting those early wins is really really helpful so we're going to go ahead we're going to eat the croissant right there i think we're probably going to look to have 
uh, one of our weaker pets up front for the buff from the moth. The moth does a plus three attack to the frontmost pet for only during battle. We'll take a look at the moth level up there as well. We don't really need more in the way of the ant, but I think we'll take it just because there's a bison this week and the bison, if you have a level three pet, will scale up pretty fast. So we'll we'll go ahead and feed the ant just in case. All right, we take that, we take that, we take that. Boom, boom, we take that. And we got actually pretty good run going on here. And I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning, but if I haven't, basically the premise of this video is that we are going to keep playing and the video won't stop until we get 10 wins. So, you know, we obviously want to make sure that we get there before we run out of five lives and that is where the fun part is. Um, especially this week, I'd say that uh, the, so let's just go ahead and buff you right there. That's fantastic. Actually, Armadillo's not terrible this week. Uh, perfect. But what I would say is it's it's really important, especially with this weekly, to get those early wins just because of how much the mid-game slows down. And I think we're looking at another win here. And we really haven't even gotten our levels yet. You can see right here we're going to get another level. And we're doing pretty well. Uh, I'm going to freeze this. I think we're going to skip the armadillo. It's okay, but not great. I think we're probably going to try to look for another level here. Although, while I could get the otter, I think I'm going to... Let's see if we can get the otter. Boom. There we go. We'll take the otter level. Just because it will buff this. Definitely take that. Uh, we'll row, we'll row, and we'll enter. So this is actually really, really promising for the early to mid game. You know, we are definitely way ahead of schedule with our wins. We're on turn six. We already have five wins, and we've got a pretty strong team to go along with it. Now we're on six wins. So this might actually be a pretty quick video. I'll say if we can get out of here by turn 11 or 12, we'll do pretty great, pretty great. But it will be a kind of boring video because we're not really going to be able to have the pivot in the video that we would need for a lot of the later game. But at the same time, I'm not going to complain about that because um, it'll be a quick video. Um, eh, I'd say we can do that just for the buff. And then you're going to be a 12-10. Let me see if I can... Is there another level up around here? You're going to... Because we're going to pivot out of the ant and the otter pretty quickly, pretty soon here. So I think probably what we want to do is actually just something like that. And then see if we can... Um, this weekly tier four, there's a couple things that we're looking for, but not anything crazy. Um, I think uh, we're probably not going to go too crazy on the clownfish. Um, probably going to unfreeze this all, so we don't, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, we're just going to wait until tier five, and we're just going to take the pivot in tier five rather than in tier four. That, take that, we take that, that's okay. We take that, we take that, perfect. Alright, well, we're still in tier 4 here, so let's go ahead and take that. Might as well do that. Increase this. And ant doesn't do anything even if we bring it in. Let me put the ant right there, though. Um, you're already going to be hitting with 22, which is pretty strong for this part of the game. So we might as well just make the ant a little bit stronger just for the turn. The cupcake gives it a temporary, a one turn 3-3 three, three buff. So we'll just go with that. 
I uh, will say, being at seven wins on turn, uh, on turn eight with no losses is going to give us a false sense of confidence because the teams right here are about to start getting a lot stronger than we've been dealing with. But fortunately, we are at level five, so we can start to um, combat that with some level ups of our own. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to sell the ant. We're going to get the cow. That will give us two free um, one attack, two health milks in the shop. We're going to give those to the jellyfish because that's our strongest unit. So we might as well make that a little bit stronger. Uh, let's roll one, see what we got here. Uh, can't hurt to go for the clownfish since it's just asking for it right now uh let me freeze no we're not gonna do that uh, let me roll one and then yeah that's kind of exactly what we're looking for we're gonna put the crocodile uh second from back and the crocodile will deal eight damage to the last enemy and we've got our clownfish level there we also have the beluga right here and the lemon. So I'm going to save those for next turn. Possibly save this for next turn as well. Okay. And we're at 8 wins with 5 life right now. We really need to be careful though. Because these teams are going to get a lot stronger real quick. As you can see here. We're kind of lucky to take a draw right there. But we're going to need to be smart with our pivot here. So we got that right there. Um, we've got the clownfish at level three. Um, I would say here, what we probably want to do is something like sell the otter because it's not doing anything other than existing. And then we're going to Probably do that, that, unfreeze this. Oh, that was that was a bit dumb. Freeze the piranha. We'll just take the uh, experience with the beluga, uh, and then next turn we'll try to get it the piranha. Although actually, we could probably replace the moth with the piranha and see if we can get something even better into the beluga and that would work pretty well as well but as you can see here we've got two pretty strong units i don't think that's going to be enough to get us through some of these stronger teams yeah like over here we're we're, we're just kind of good I do think we're in a pretty good spot though, so let's go ahead and get that. We're going to put the Piranha at the beginning. The Piranha, when it gets hurt or faints, um, gives all of your other pets a plus three attack. Level two, it's a plus six. It's a great option for us. Uh, let's see. We definitely want the Popcorn on, probably actually on the Piranha, because it's a it's tier six and the Popcorn will will when it faints will give you a same tier um, will give you a cut from the same tier it's great that we have the beluga but we don't really have the best pet for it to spit out once it gets knocked out but that's okay we can take care of that next turn we've got enough lives to be okay with losing a round and making sure that we have the right one. The one that we're really looking for, because basically the way the beluga works is it will swallow your leftmost pet from the shop if you feed it food. And so, and then we'll spit it out once it faints as either level one or level two. Uh, we're at nine wins now. This game really clutched it out on the early, on the early game, but I would say that, you know, having a jellyfish in the beluga is not really doing us many favors. And also with the piranha having so little health, probably could um, buff that a little bit as well. What we're looking for ideally is something like a reindeer. If we can find it, that would be great. We'll probably roll until 
we find the right one because I think it's valuable enough for us to do that. Uh, I'm gonna freeze the popcorn here. Probably put the popcorn on the crocodile if we don't have any other moves. Um, the Niala. Actually, let's put the popcorn on here because then it will on the beluga because it will eat the Niala, which would then spit out a 16, 16 um, dog. So it'll basically. This will, if this faints, it will spit out a level 2 Nayala, which once that faints, will spit out a 16-16 dog. Uh, we're still pretty early. The teams that we're, not, we're facing aren't that strong, so we're looking at basically, uh, right now, a Piranha, which will give everybody level 3 or plus 3 attack the second that it faints. Then it's going to spit out a level 6 random, um, which will probably do at least some damage. Then we'll have the Clownfish that's doing a double attack um, at 19 attack, so it would be 38 attack, and it has 20 health, so it's probably going to get at least one or two hits in and knock at least one out. Then we go to the Beluga, where the Beluga, since it has the popcorn, will spit out um, a random tier 5 pet, but will also spit out the level 2 Nyala, which once the Nyala faints, will. Um, spit out a 1616 dog although that won't come out until after the jellyfish um, so if the jellyfish faints then we have a 1616 dog and then behind that we have a fairly weak crocodile but the crocodile will also be doing eight damage to their last pet at the beginning of battle so in theory we have one two pets right with the piranha then we have a strong clownfish and then we have one two three one two three, four pets coming from the beluga, and then the jellyfish, the fourth from the beluga would come after the jellyfish if it does need to come out. Uh, four lives, nine wins on turn 12. Most of the teams that we're gonna be facing are gonna be good but not great right now. They'll be fairly strong. Uh, I think we're in a pretty good spot, uh, but also like this is kind of the team that we would run with. And at that point, if we needed to keep going, we could just level these up or we could, um, you know, use some food perks to, to get them stronger. So I think we're in a pretty good spot right here. I would expect that we would win this one. And let's go ahead and see how that um, assessment does in battle. Okay. All right. We take those. It's not great. Okay, we take those, we take those, and we take those wins. So, uh, I appreciate you watching. I hope that you had a great time. And we were uh, going with the first round 10 piece here. Uh, and as I said, the video ends when we have a 10 piece. So if you would like to see more of this, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. If you want to critique my strategy or tell me stuff that I missed, feel free to drop that below as well. Hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.